Hey guys, so I thought I'd vlog today and also give you a little bit of an update of what we're doing in medical school. So we just finished the cardiology block, which was about five to six weeks of learning and we had our end of topic test on the second week after inter-semester break, so right now it's semester two. And the funny thing is, it was our first in-person test for our end of module tests. And that brought a lot of like, you know, anxiety to people because it's been a while since we've had to sit in uni and do a two-hour written test. But I think the overall vibe was that it went fine. Um, and so everyone's just glad that it's over. And now we've started the respiratory module, which is a bit shorter than cardiology. And so today I have four lectures and they are all respiratory lectures, which means that's going to be a literal cognitive overload day, but it's fine. Um, and... There isn't really many assignments going on right now, so it's kind of chill. That's the thing about med school. Like, there are moments when there's a lot going on and then it really calms down. And then for the next two, three weeks, there aren't many assignments. And then closer to the time of the test, where everyone's going to be, like, cramming and stuff. But yeah, anyways, um, lectures finish today at 1pm, but I'll probably be at uni until 6, 7ish, because I've got quite a few things to do afterwards. Um, so come along with me. The first lecture was on the respiratory zone and blood supply. We covered concepts such as the structure of the respiratory system, for example how air travels from the nasal cavity into the alveoli in the lungs. We then looked at blood supply and the different features of veins and arteries in the systemic and pulmonary system. Each lecture starts at 5 past and finishes 5 two. So there was a small break in between the first and second lectures, so I went to book a study room in the library. The next lecture was on clinical assessment of lung function. So basically teaching us about the different ways you can check and test for pulmonary function. For example, using a spirometer to see the different lung capacities and volumes. Now this lecture was pretty full on because all the information was completely new to us. And so it was quite difficult to understand at first. The next lecture was about looking at radiology images of the respiratory system and identifying pathologies such as pneumonia, pneumothorax, etc. We also learned about silhouette signs, as well as how cancer and infections can be seen in the scans. I'm going to write this down actually. So halo equals um, no contact of organ with lesion. And then if you have... If it the final lecture was about pulmonary surfactant, which is a cool substance produced by your lungs to reduce surface tension and prevent your airways from collapsing. So basically, it helps make breathing a lot easier and is extremely essential. While the rest of the cohort was done with lectures at 1pm, today I had to stay at uni until 6pm. I ate lunch and then at 2pm went for a MedSci 142 TA lab training for the sheep heart dissection. We covered the main concepts that we should know for the lab, and after one hour, I headed up to the library to do one hour of tutoring. I must be honest though, the lectures today were quite overwhelming. For some reason, I wasn't able to pay attention that well, and found myself being very confused with what was being taught. I even walked out of a couple of lectures not really knowing what I learned in that one hour. But honestly, that happens from time to time, and I knew that dealing with it would be a weekend problem. <laughs> After tutoring, I had to go do some admin work for MedSci 142, which I signed up to do as a TA. Today was a really long day. I had to go for four lectures and then on top of that I had to work for four hours. So that meant I wasn't really able to do any study. By the time I came back home, ate dinner and freshened up, it was already 8pm. 
so I got straight into writing a script for this YouTube video so that I wouldn't forget what I had to include. I then spent the next hour catching up on lectures I missed because waking up for 8 a.m. consecutively can be super tiring. We have started a new module called Clinical Pharmacology, which spans for the entire semester. It's basically all about different medications and how they interact in the body, and ways the body handles these medications. Because I've always been interested in medicinal chemistry and pharmacology, this paper is very interesting to me, and reminds me of biosci content in first year, such as signaling pathways, enzymes, inhibitors, to name a few. So for the rest of the night, I'm probably just going to be drawing up mind maps for these lectures because after one year of biomed last year, I realized that mind maps are the way that I like to study.